Hey guys, my name is Grace and today I'm going to be doing an all about me drawing. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more from me in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now I have an important update that I wanted to share with you guys. I recently just got two new subscribers and I'm really happy because that meets my goal of 10 subscribers and I had this goal for the end of September. I wanted 10 subscribers by the end of September and I'm really happy because it's not even halfway through September and I already reached my goal. So to whoever those two people were or two channels, thank you so much. I'm so appreciative and so thankful. Um, and I also thought I would uh, get a new goal. So I wanted to start slow and my new goal is 12 subscribers by the end of September. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like my channel. And again, thank you so much to whoever those two people were. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So the first thing I did for my All About Me drawing was I printed out a picture of myself and my cat Mia. And this was from a little while ago. I really liked the picture. Um, and I actually do have two cats. One of them is named Mia, who is actually in the picture, and the other one is named Emmy. I just wanted to do one picture, and I thought it would be a nice touch to this drawing. So for the actual drawing part of this video, I used the same kind of method I did in my last video. Um, I didn't want to draw something because I'm pretty bad at it, I feel like, and I wanted this to turn out nice. So the same thing that I did in my last video was I just picked out some images that I liked and printed them off. They don't have to be in color, they can just be black and white. And then all you have to do is scribble a bunch of pencil lead on the back of them, or if you have charcoal, you can use just regular like art charcoal. And then you just flip the image over and place it wherever you want on your paper and you just outline it. I used a pencil. And I use pencil lead because I don't have the charcoal that um, you use for art. So I just use pencils and it turns out fine and it gives you like a light sketch so you can go over it and color it in and it makes it look like you actually drew it. Next, I outlined everything that had transferred onto the paper with a black skinny marker. So for the images I picked out, I picked out a little YouTube um, logo, I picked out some footprints, a paint palette, two ice cream cones, a stack of books, and a three-tiered cake along with my picture that I printed out. And I will explain why this is all about me later on in the video. So after all of that boring stuff was over, I finally got to get to the good part, which was coloring everything in and making it all come to life. So I will say that I tried to shade. Um, I'm definitely not as good at it as some other people are. Uh, I really just learned how to do it, so I think I'm doing pretty well, but if you have any tips or tricks for me, I would love to hear them in the comments down below. And so the first thing I started to color in was the YouTube logo, and of course this had to have a place on my drawing. I wouldn't be here without YouTube. I love watching their videos. I love posting YouTube videos. Um, I just think it's really cool that I can make something and everybody around the world can watch it. So it had to have a place on my drawing. Next, I started to color in the ice cream cones. I chose a strawberry flavor and added some sprinkles and then a chocolate mint chip flavor um, because I got to add the little chocolate chips. 
and it may seem kind of silly but I actually don't like these flavors I don't really have a favorite ice cream flavor I would say I pretty much just get whatever sounds good to me so these were just two random flavors that I thought would look nice on my drawing Next, I started to color in the footprints, and I just colored these in black, and you may be wondering why I put footprints on this, and that's because just this year I started running cross country, and I feel like I'm doing pretty well at it, especially for my first year, so I thought that it would be a good idea to include this on my All About Me drawing. Now for the last three images, I didn't put them on camera, but I will tell you a little bit about why I chose them. First, I chose the books, um, which I did show a little bit um, of footage from those, but it was just a stack of books because I love to read. I chose a three-tiered cake because I love to bake, and I also chose a paint palette because I love to do crafts and to paint, and it was also my channel's icon. this drawing even better than the one I did last week and also if you're new to my channel be sure to go check out my other videos if you haven't already I have some DIY videos some painting videos and also a slime review so be sure to check those out and I'll see you guys next week for a painting video bye